Hello, and welcome to Gumberg Library's video tutorial on using PubMed at Duquesne. To start, let's begin with how to find PubMed. On the library homepage, you'll see a box for searching Duke Search. Below this box, there is a link to PubMed. This opens PubMed at Duquesne in the same tab. Another way to access PubMed at Duquesne is via our databases page. On the library website, select Research, followed by Databases A to Z. This takes you to our comprehensive list of all of the databases available at Duquesne. You can filter these databases by subject by selecting Health Sciences, and underneath the Best Bets category, you'll be able to scroll down and see PubMed at Duquesne listed there. Now that we're in PubMed, let's look at how to conduct a search. Simply type your search terms into the white search bar and click search. For this tutorial, we will say heart attack and depression. If you're curious, you can learn how PubMed translates your search terms to find more results. To do this, click Advanced under the search bar and scroll down to History and Search Details, clicking the arrow under Details. You can see that PubMed mapped the terms heart attack to myocardial infarction, which is the medical subject heading relating to heart attacks. Let's go back to the search by hitting the back button. At the top of the search results screen, you'll see that this search yields over 7,000 articles. That is quite a few. To narrow down our search results, PubMed offers several filters on the left-hand side of the screen. The filters listed at the top left are filters frequently used by Duquesne students. Below this is the results by year filter, which allows you to limit results to a specified range of publication dates. There's also a filter for article type, Selecting additional filters will show other ways to filter your search, including species, language, sex, journal, and age. Say that we're trying to look for articles featuring women over the age of 65. To do so, we would select the appropriate categories followed by the Show button to bring those filters to the left-hand side. We can then select those individual boxes and apply them to our search. You can see that this has reduced our search to 2,800 results. Finally, for the sake of currency, we'll select the publication date shortcut of anything published in the last five years. Looking at our number of results, we're now down to about 280 articles. That's cut our search down quite a bit. Accessing PubMed at Duquesne will connect you to resources available at Duquesne, including PDFs of full text via LibKey Nomad, as well as the ability to find articles in their original journal publications using Browsine. If the library has access to an article's text, you'll see the Download PDF button below the article. Clicking there will open a full PDF of text in a new tab. Similarly, clicking the View Complete Issue button will open that article in its original journal in a new tab. To learn more about these resources, you can review the Browsing and LibKey Nomad library guides. There is another way to check if we have access to full text. Clicking on an article's title will show you that article's citation information. On this page, in the top right-hand corner is a section titled Full Text Links. Try the links there to see if you can access the text for free. If there aren't any free versions listed there, you can also select Full Text Finder, which will open Full Text Finder in a new window and present options of getting full text. This service will refer you to interlibrary loan services such as ILLiad if there's no available full text of a given article. Those are the basics of searching using PubMed at Duquesne. If you have any additional questions, you can visit Ask Gumberg at the site below and contact the library.